Hi, I'm Nathan here in the 7 Second Studio with a quick tip on how to adjust your pressure for heat transfer application. I have my t-shirt loaded here already. I'm going to show you as my press is warming up, getting ready for application, how to adjust the pressure setting for your machine. Now, this Hicks HT400 has a uh, pressure adjustment knob that is uh, on the back of the machine. Um, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So you turn it right, it gets tighter. You turn it left, it gets looser. Um, you'll notice too there's a zero here. That's the pressure readout. So when I close down uh, this press, I can see that I have a nine setting, uh, which is the top end, the max end of the scale on a zero to nine readout for the pressure on this press. Now I have a t-shirt here. If I was using a different material, a thicker material, I need to adjust my pressure settings depending on that material. So if I take my t-shirt out, and let's say I have uh, a thicker hooded sweatshirt that I need to load, um, I can load that up, and I'm gonna adjust my pressure to accommodate the thickness of this material. So I get my collar off the side here. Again, this is a, a particularly difficult uh, uh, item to load because it's bulky, you have to get the cords out of the way, you have to get the pocket off the bottom and the seam off the top. Uh, for your placement. Now I'm going to back my pressure off uh, a half of a turn uh, just to see where we are. Uh, I adjusted the back and I'm at a nine, so I'm good to go. And I can, when my press gets to temperature, I can go ahead and start pressing uh, my designs on my hoodie. Now, if I were switching back to a t-shirt, keep in mind, you go from a thicker material to a thinner material or a thinner material to a thicker material, you might want to adjust your pressure uh, before you start your application process. For more information on how you can make more profit every 7 seconds with our heat transfers, visit us online at fmexpressions.com.